What are things racist people do that they don't think is racist? This is a long one. I had a co-worker when I was a manager in a major retailer. We were running a project that required third-party hiring. Well, in this team was a group of seven POC who rode together for work. Whenever I was around, they were hard-working, and quick to listen. But whenever I was at a different location or off for a few days, I would come back and this manager would brief me on how things went, and every time she would bring up how terrible and rude and lazy this group was, and when I would go out to the floor, they would greet me with things like thank god you're back, we were about to quit. It went on like this until one day I was coming back, halfway through shift, drive time, and the group was leaving, clearly pissed off. Said they couldn't stand her racist ass anymore. Apparently she accused them of being disrespectful and probably stealing like you people do. They ended up filing a case and reporting her. I was told I was gonna have to provide testimony, as the only other manager present. Right before I got on the call, she actually said you know I'm not racist. I have even dated a darkie. I was floored. I held nothing back in the testimony. Compliments that go like, you're so, compliment, for, your race. You're pretty fly for a white guy. Describing a particular member of a minority group as one of the good ones. If we stop immigration of Latino people, who will clean the toilets? Hmm? Paraphrased quote from Kelly Osborne trying to be woke. Edit. I do think Kelly wasn't saying Latinos should only clean toilets. My problem is it seems like she's saying we should continue to let Latinos in so they can continue to clean our toilets, being underpaid. Do the shitty jobs no one else will do because they don't have a choice. What she should have been aiming for, is to say, why can't we be humanitarian and respect these hard-working people's right to a better life? Make legal immigration easier, provide education, training and support so they can become skilled and have better jobs? What if we provided more aid to the people currently living in their own countries so they don't need to flee? Backquote that's why it's racist. Because she's saying what's happening now is okay. We should not be condoning the status quo. Her reason for accepting immigrants because surely no white American will want to clean my toilet, for exploitative low wage, and we need someone to do it. I like how Mexicans are lazy slobs but somehow also taking all the jobs. Speaking for people of color, but getting pissed at people of color for speaking for themselves. Think that they can't be racist if they are a person of color. Refer to a black person as clean and groomed as if it's something rare and special. Every time a black person applied for a job at my old job this old white lady who was involved in interviews would say, he was clean and didn't have those dreads, or something similar edit. I didn't expect to get so many replies so here is some more context for the lady who used to sit in on the interviews. I never heard her refer to anyone white as clean or well groomed, specifically. On multiple occasions after interviewing with a black candidate she would say something like, he could never be a technician in insert wealthier, primarily white neighborhood name. The company itself had multiple HR complaints by technicians against her and another manager for inappropriate and racially insensitive issues. One of the managers she was friends with outside of work was reported for using the N-word at work and management tried to sweep it under the rug until they were forced to fire the manager for shoving a Hispanic technician on a job site in front of customers. The customers saw it out of their window and reported it to corporate so there was no way around it and no sweeping it. Under the rug at that point. I left the job because working around people like this made me sick. He's so articulate. Reminds me of Chris Rock referring to someone who described Colin Powell as articulate. Of course, he's articulate dumbass. He's the fucking Secretary of State. I think he did the same about Obama in regards to people saying, he speaks so well. I can definitely see it as being a racist thing because obviously as a president he should be able to speak well. But then I look at Bush, Trump, and Biden and maybe people actually were surprised that a president could speak so well lol. Obama really is just an excellent orator though, nothing racist about acknowledging that. Obama really is just an excellent orator though this is really it. People have to remember that we were coming off the Bush 2 era, so our standards were set really low. To paraphrase one of my favorite scenes from one of my favorite shows, we were all excited simply by having someone who could speak in complete sentences. 
There's no shortage of racist commentary about Obama and his presidency but he was truly one of the greatest public speakers ever to hold office. Edit. The quote is from Season 2 Episode 1 of The West Wing. Leo McGarry, campaign advisor to a presidential candidate, fires the entire heavily experienced campaign staff and keeps the one guy who nobody likes. Because I'm tired of it. Year after year after year after year having to chose between the lesser of who cares. Of trying to get myself excited about a candidate who can speak in complete sentences. Of setting the bar so low, I can hardly look at it. It is an awesome episode, but do yourself a favor and start at season 1 episode 1. I don't think I've seen anyone outside of a movie speak as well as Obama spoke just regularly. Seriously it's like the man was practicing to be president from the day he was born. Trying to speak for and save black people like we're defenseless baby animals or something. Exclusion by inclusion. Example. I'm not racist. I like everyone, even black people. Say I don't have a racist bone in my body, but. But my body is 70% water and that shit is definitely racist. Assuming any minority with nice things got them with government welfare, drug dealing, or all the money they save from not having to pay taxes, because they are illegal immigrants. Thinking that saying, oh no I have a insert minority group here friend, gets them out of saying, doing racist shit. My racist foster mom was accused of racism by her Korean co-worker. Her boss told the co-worker her Korean foster daughter would disagree with you nah actually I wouldn't. That bitch racist. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Edit. Links link 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 link. Where are you from? I'm from Texas. No, but like, where are you from? Texas. No, but like before that. Where were you born? Texas. Okay, but where are your parents from? Deep inhale Texas. I've had this exact conversation too many times. Just because someone isn't white, doesn't mean they aren't from the same country. Test the waters to see if you're racist too. Example. Neighbor did you meet the new people that moved in? Me no, not yet. Neighbor oh, you'll see them soon enough. The husband is black. Me okay. Is that an issue? Neighbor no, for me no, I don't see things that way. Always testing to see who thinks like they do so that they can have a buddy to talk to about racist things. Edit. To elaborate. I don't believe just saying that makes them inherently racist. It's the next part if you choose to entertain it that does. Instead of saying, is that an issue, try saying, oh really? That's when the person will indict themselves and start to amp up their thoughts. In my experience 95% of the time it will go something like this. Me. Oh really? Neighbor. Yep. In this neighborhood of all places. Can you believe it? I'm as white as they come. I grew up in a racially mixed environment, and today live in a mostly white, affluent suburb. So to me, those sorts of things really stand out. As a large beaded very white man living in the South, I hear some shit. Sometimes I like to pretend I don't understand and ask them to explain it. Genocide is usually carried out by people who don't think they're doing anything wrong. My daughter, who is Mexican, went over to her friend's house to have dinner with their family. They had your normal American dishes while the mother specially made her Mexican food. Why do so many white people think they can eat food from anywhere, but that ethnic people only want to eat their own culture's food? Damn near everyone in the world is eating internationally now. I wouldn't call it racist but definitely super weird and uncomfortable when white people I just met need to regale me with tales of their racist families. Okay cool dude. I didn't want to know that your uncle thinks I am a terrorist stealing jobs. Edit. Spelling edit too. Before I go to work, I don't have time to answer every singe comment yet, but I do appreciate the insights in the replies. Will respond when I get a chance. Much love.